uh let's see what it is it's january happy new year guys <laughs> happy new year so happy first new time year. we've seen each other in 2023 Hopefully everybody survived the uh, holidays and everything. So we are going to call this um, Ocean Pines Association Bylaws and Resolutions Committee meeting to order at 1.06 p.m. via Teams. Um, uh, as usual, I like to introduce ourselves for the recording part of it uh, so that if anybody watches this later, they know who we are. My name is Laura Pangratz. I am the uh, chairperson. Um, and then we have our other members. Uh, uh, Keith and Augie, would you like to introduce yourselves, please? Keith Kaiser. <laughs> August Lungy, <laughs> member of the <laughs> Okay. And then we have our board liaison. Would you like to introduce yourself, Steve? Steve Jacobs. Thank you very much. Now, all right, so Keith, you got to help me here. <clears throat> if um, uh, for five members, do three of us make quorum? So, uh, out of the five members, three of us present here because we know Bob is also a member, but he is excused today because he's traveling home. Um, so he's not able to call into this meeting uh, today, and we don't have Pam online yet. So does that... Does the three of us, uh, you, me, and Augie, constitute quorum f out for us? I think so. I think we've think done this quorum before right. in the past. Yeah. Uh, just three people, yeah. Okay. All right. I just want to double check myself, too. Um, okay. So we do have quorum, which means we can conduct business. We have introduced uh, ourselves. I don't see anybody else visit. We don't have any guests on here, right? Nobody else has asked to join in, Steve? I, I see nothing uh, on okay. my screen about okay. letting in any or anything like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So what I am going to do is an attempt to see if I can share my screen and pull the agenda up. Okay. So let's hope that this works. i got to figure out where... Um, so if I go here and I go here, do you see the agenda? We see your, uh, your browser where it says, uh, join teams. Okay. So it doesn't show. All right. So I got to go back. All right. Hold on. <laughs> See, I got to figure out. Um, all right, so stop sharing for a minute. Let's see if that works. All right. Sharing. Can hey. you see the agenda now? Yep. Okay, all right. So hopefully all the documents that we need will be on this screen and I can just bounce back and forth uh, through them. So next thing we need to do is approve the agenda. So I'm gonna scroll down for a minute and see if there's anything that we need to add to it. Does anybody see anything? I think it's good. Okay. I so agree. hearing hearing no objections, the approve uh, the agenda will be approved as presented. Okay. So thank you. Uh, so the next thing on our agenda is to approve the minutes from our December twenty first meeting. Which let's see if this works. All right. So here are the draft minutes augie do you have anything you want to point out on you know highlight on any of this that we should look for and um let us know if there's anything that we need to um update and fill in sure i realize i never filled in the date of the executive committee meeting you attended and you actually sent me that and uh yes that was december 5th i do know that okay and I'm still not real familiar with the level of detail for 
right. minutes. Uh, if anyone thinks there's either too much or too little detail, I can make some edits, but this, I did my best to try and capture uh, kind of the big picture of what we were discussing and the kind of direction we were asked to go in on the various items. Right. Okay. Um, I think it's very good. I like the detail in the sense because for this particular committee, I feel like we have a lot of uh, discussion and it helps to, it helps me anyway. I referred back to it to make sure that my memory um, uh, has me pointed in the right direction. So I personally like the level of detail that you have. I don't think it's too much or too little. Um, I agree. Okay. Is I know there... we had a lot of discussion about the three items last time. Yeah. <laughs> right. So is there anything that need, uh, other than adding that one date in there, is there anything else that needs to be um, corrected or anything? Which, because I'm not sure, I, can't, uh, I have this as a PDF, I can't uh, update it um, myself on this one because I don't know how to do that, but... I, I have updated on my word perfect. Okay, so you can always resend it back out uh, to all of us with the update then, right? Okay. Sure. Um, okay, so um, can I have a motion to approve the um, minutes with the uh, one addition to it, please? So moved. Second? Second. <laughs> all in favor, uh, any further discussion? All in favor of approving the minutes as adjusted, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. All right. And since we don't have any guests on here, I will take that as we don't have any public comments for this session. Um, so moving on to the next topic is chairperson's report, which is the lower half of the agenda here. Um, I just noted that I did attend the December uh, 17th um, OPA uh, director's meeting uh, in person. Um, uh, and I'll explain the next comment here in a little bit. They uh, submitted the email request uh, for the Teams link for our meetings. Um, and I did meet with our board liaison, Steve, um, a couple days ago uh, to kind of <laughs> try and figure out all of our papers and everything uh, to make sure we're all on the same page here. So um, my next upcoming task will be to attend the upcoming director's meeting on the 21st. OK. Um, Steve, do you have anything you would like to report on um, before we start like the, the uh, old business and new business stuff? Uh, <clears throat> just to. Uh, I don't know put a bow on the meeting that you and I had. Um, uh, I have submitted to Linda Martin. Uh, in, we, uh, we get a, a notice uh, to submit items uh, in advance for the next board meeting. So uh, I have submitted to um, Linda uh, for first reading the um, what the committee had recommended for M05 animal control uh, F03, which is establishing a drainage reserve account, uh, B01, which dealt with the legal review uh, requirement that if the board require uh, has counsel to review a document, counsel has to basically um, uh, put his signature on the document before it's put into the book of resolutions and B07, which uh, addresses, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, uh, who may represent petitioners before the board uh, for a discussion on a particular petition. Um, in Laura and I both, and Laura, if I'm, I don't mean to speak for you, but uh, the feeling we had was we were sort of 
barely treading water, if you will, uh, between um, the change in chair among on this committee, new members, um, the election change in board liaison, and the new makeup of the board. And so um, we have uh, gone back, and I think uh, in addition to the first reading uh, documents, which I outlined, and we'll discuss the charging documents under unfinished business, we will have pretty much caught up at that point uh, in terms of what the committee has to do. And and that was sort of what we worked at. So I that's all I have to say. Okay, great. Thank you. Steve, um, could you could you give me the numbers again for those so I make sure and get them right in my notes? Sure. Um, what the uh, M05 on animal control is on the agenda. That's that's already there. The the other three that I added were F03. Uh, which deals with reserve accounts. Uh, B's, B is in boy, B01, dealing with the book of resolutions, <clears throat> excuse me, and B as in boy, 07, dealing with petitions. Got it. Thank you. And, and I, I should add all of these, the uh, charging documents are really from uh, when Jim was chair and we right. just never gotten them through the mill all the way back to the board. So that's that's why I say we're just trying to catch up. Right, because several of those had Jim's signature on them as chairperson. So I just signed in addition now that we're trying to uh, get them caught up now. Um, Laura. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, I, we don't I, I don't think we want to get into the governance document review now, but on the tracker, we still had several other um, documents which we had previously documented that Colette had submitted to the board, mm -hmm. but that we had not heard anything about since. And in our notes, the, essentially the action was for Steve to either get with Colette to find out what happened to those or find out at the board what happened to those. So, and I thought, Steve, at our last meeting, you said you were going to get with Colette to to run down through those and find out what she did with them. Yeah, I, and I did contact her. And um, what she, uh, well, I think we actually probably exchanged emails a couple of times. Um, as I recall, her first uh, response was that she had turned a lot of that over to Doug as the new chair of the board, new president of the board. Um, and when I went back to her after our last meeting, um, she sent me a, uh, a memo that she had sent to, I believe, all the board members after Doug became president, sort of, you know, sort of outlining all the unfinished business. And I think working from that and from what Laura and I had, I thought I had covered the waterfront, but maybe I didn't. Um, I'm not. I, I'm not sure what else is sort of pending. Um, Keith, do you know offhand by because you you can you're used to looking at this document quickly, but um, which ones should we be? Um, are you saying that you think that we did have some that already went through with a first reading, but we don't know if it got a second reading um, or, you know, how it finished? It, was it supposed to come back to us or that right. kind of we, part? Right. We never received any feedback <clears throat> about what happened to it, whether it was approved, red, redlined. So everything on the document that has a red highlighted date in the column D is something that we were waiting on feedback from the board. Okay, well, uh, the uh, B01 is up, will be for first reading, uh, at the, is, should be on the agenda for January. Um, B02, uh, let me see what I've got here. That's the rules of order for board meetings. I, I don't know if you want to wait until later, uh, Laura, to go through these. Uh, okay. When we go through the document tracker, I just 
I just felt compelled. All right, don't to let us that. forget though. Yeah. Okay. okay. We we can do that. We can come back to it. Um, all right. So let me go back here for a second. All right. So before we get into all the unfinished business and everything, let me clarify. I forgot to mention that there is a new policy that has been um, that I inadvertently found out about uh, when I had tried to email um, uh, Josh uh, Davis about getting a link for the new meetings because the what I had done was I went onto the OPA website uh, to the committee calendars and our meetings um, that we had set beginning this month in January 2023 that I, we had sent out uh, back in December that Linda Martin had uh, graciously helped me uh, um, uh, figure out um, back in November um, weren't on the calendar yet so there was no link already because that's what I was trying to do was trying to um, I I prefer to try to send out a reminder email to all of us at least one week prior to our meeting with that link and all of our information that we're going to go over at the meeting. Josh then informed me that he no longer can set up the um, um, Teams leak links for us, uh, nor can he uh, share documents and things like that unless we have gone through the proper channels, meaning that the new proper uh, process is that I, as chairperson, will uh, send a request to our board liaison, Steve, um, saying, you know, we have um, an upcoming meeting or <clears throat> we can list all of uh, the ones that we have from January to July that are already scheduled in the main office calendar to him. He then forwards that request to the general member uh general general manager or that um and I, I can't think of her last name right now but there's a new person new to me uh named michelle who is supposed to maybe set up the links however linda martin was the one who did this one for us today um they um will then they will then set up the the links for us they feel that now that we're coming out of the pandemic, their staff employees don't have the time to sit here and do the screen sharing for us and pulling up documents and all of that, which I can fully understand. Um, it's just the communication has not been uh, great in this new policy. Um, once I asked Steve about it, he sent, he was not aware of it. He sent a letter out, an email out. Um, Doug Parks, president, responded back about the new policy. I still had some questions. Um, one being, who who then sends us the link, or who who does the uh, who sends the um, uh, is the link sent to the liaison who then sends it to the chairperson or directly to the chairperson, and how much advance notice do we need to give them one to request and two how much notice will they give us when the link is set up um so i just got this you know link uh two days ago and for some reason keith she did not have your email on her list which is why i forwarded it out to everybody again because i noticed yours wasn't on there um so uh um, I just I, I think we need to keep in mind that this is a new process on their end. And so we're all learning and working on how to do it uh, moving forward. OK, so obviously I have no problems doing the screen sharing as long as I have a heads up on what documents I need to have ready. Um, so I can I can do that. Um, uh, so I just wanted to explain why it seemed to be a little rougher with getting that information out to all of you this time so hope and what i what i also don't know is will they create one link for all of that can be used for all of our meetings or will each meeting have an individual unique link um and as you all notice we had to meet virtually today because um they are still renovating the administration building so um 
hopefully by February we could meet in person again and still have a hybrid meeting, which I'll have to figure out that too. Then if we're going to do the screen sharing, I guess that means I will bring my laptop. Anyway, so moving on. So I under unfinished business, I did go ahead and list a couple of these um, uh, items uh, that we're just trying to make sure we're all on the same page with. Um, CO9, um, we have the charging document. Um, and I want to say that one's here. Um, and it, it's the one that determines the current effectiveness within the stated purpose of the resolution policies of the association. Um, so I believe we were, Steve, <laughs> you have to help me with this one, refresh my memory. Um, I think you were you were going to take that one um, forward as well, since we have a charging document, right? I have uh, uh, C09 deals with the executive council, correct? That's my. Yeah. Thing. Right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've already submitted the charging document. Um, you know, um, the uh we don't the committee in sending that through is not recommending any particular change but um we'll send it forward to the board what the board does with it after that i'm not entirely sure i know but we'll we'll try to track it as best we can okay all right thank you c01 um we also have a charging document on and that goes um Oh, uh, C01. Oh, yeah, this just said <clears throat> the uh, committee's charging document raises um, several issues. Um, it looks like in particularly in paragraph four. Um, distribution of agenda, distribution of approved minutes, uh, review of applications by committee chair, but as we discussed at the last meeting, the executive council is also working on the uh, process for uh, uh, committee membership. Uh, the stated goal is to be able to streamline and automate it <clears throat> as best they can. It was to undergo uh, another series of edits after the last executive council meeting um and i thought laura correct me if i'm wrong you were going to contact the person working on that on the from the executive committee to let them know that we had some pending matters as well or um i believe so we haven't had we haven't heard back from the executive the um uh an update from uh, the executive council, though, have we? I, I'm, I have not seen anything in. I just thought the only email that I've seen was the discussion, uh, like right after that meeting, where they just kind of recapped and said they that work group was going to go back and take the input that we had all given that evening to the different areas and then come back with a final, you know, like an update. Right. I haven't seen that. I've, I haven't seen it either. I don't know whether you want to uh, inform that work group that there are some additional suggested changes from this committee, which don't deal with necessarily what they're working on, but it's all part of the same resolution. So I, however you want to do it is fine by me. Okay. Uh, but it basically, I think the sense from the last committee meeting was we're holding this particular charging document in abeyance until we see the work product from the executive council. Right. Okay. Okay. I can, I'll see if I can figure out how to uh, uh, follow up with that. Um, M08 deals with the association manuals um this has been a continuation of the review based on comments at the june 22nd board meeting um 
So we have, let me see, M08 is here. Um, I do not, I don't think I have like a chart, an actual charging document or anything for that one. Um, I'm still trying to figure out when we need charging documents and all of that. Um, I'm kind of um, just uh, remaining off of uh, how Jim did things. Um, so uh, this one, M08, maybe we do have a charging document for that. Let me. I, I'm sorry. That's uh, well, I don't have it pulled up, I, I, um, but but yeah, sorry, if I may, um, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I have a charging document for M08. The issue for M08, uh, was, and I think this is what the committee needs to discuss today. Uh, this is the uh, after Doug, uh, had talked to the committee at the last meeting. Um, this deals with all those association manuals. The original proposal, as I recall from the committee, was that there's real that this should not be something that that uh, has to be reviewed on an annual basis. This is just up. This is really an operations matter. Right. Where the manager has to address it with his staff and department heads, etc. Um, my understanding long before I got on the board uh, was that uh, Doug in particular was concerned about the two financial uh, manuals, uh, financial planning, and there's another one whose name escapes me at the moment, uh, but there's two financial manuals in the resolution itself that uh, he felt the board needs to hold on to the review and consideration of. Right. That being the case, um, it, I, as I recall, our, Laura, the conversation you and I had, Laura, was that the committee should, based upon what Doug's uh, conversation with the committee was last month, that the committee should look at a new charging document to reflect what his concerns are and then we can move that charging document to the board. That that was my recollection of the way we left it. Right. Okay. And based on our minutes from last month, um, that is pretty accurate there. Um, <coughs> that um, in our notes here, it says uh, uh, M08 may be unnecessary or limited to the financial policy manual and the architectural review manual. Um, and it talks about uh, how we had started discussing whether that we needed sunset or updating periods um, uh, uh, that may be warranted for, for some of those manuals um, to document how, how often they should be looked at. Um, and that uh, we as a committee should evaluate this then and come up with um, propose some changes for review. So it does sound like we need to discuss um, uh, what kind of charging document we want to put forth uh, forward and what suggestions we have then for uh, to update that. Yeah, I would just uh, suggest, uh, and again, uh, is the the ARC uh, guidelines or the or the uh, yeah, that manual is not the, one of the two that were included. The two that were included, and these are um, addenda to uh, M08. Uh, the two were the Financial Management Procedures Manual and the Financial Management Policy Manual. Those were the two that were of concern to uh, Doug at our last meeting. Um, the rest really lie more generally with staff. They're more operational in nature, and that's the responsibility of the general manager. Okay. 
Oh, that's right. This is the one that has the sideway pages. Um, we'll see the architectural review committee guidelines were are also one of the manuals listed. And I think trying to recall our discussion on that. Um, that out of those, I thought we had felt that the financial ones and then potentially the architectural review one um, would be ones that could remain in this and that the other should be our operational. That's that's was similar to what I recalled, although I think one of the financial ones was operational, the financial procedures. Either that or it didn't exist potentially. I don't know if there's some concern about that one reflecting current. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> I, I switched it around. <laughs> there we go. Now we can read it without. OK. Um, so you guys will have to help me with this. Um, as far as procedure from us goes, um, how do you want to proceed in coming up with recommendations from our committee to put into a charging document? Keith, do you have an idea on the, the process we should do? To create a to create a charging document. Uh, yes. It, uh, and then like, um, what do we put uh in that charging document? Are we coming up with? Are we uh, writing down that we propose that you know these certain manuals remain included and that the others do not need to be part of this? Um. Uh, what kind of proposal are we coming up with uh, to recommend then before we send it forward? That's well, the part I'm never perfectly I, sure of. My understanding of charging documents is it's the board's way of asking us to take a look at something. Um, we, you know, via Jim, came up with a suggestion that maybe this resolution should be considered uh, to be canceled, modified, or whatever. But that's just a, rec a, a, a an informal recommendation to the board. And the board could say, no, leave it alone. It's fine the way it is. And we just keep doing our thing. So Doug is the one who's got, has specific ideas and guidance about what needs to be considered about changing this document so if we're going to draft a charge document to give to doug to basically give back to us we would just i, th I think it's only a couple of sentences it just says okay consider um changes to resolution to remove uh documents that are administrative in nature while maintaining you know just something short and sweet that he can then sign and turn around and send back to us we, so we can work on it can i can i just uh, charging documents can go both ways. In other words, the board can charge the committee, committee can charge the board. Uh, uh, it, 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 the form is, is made out that way. Uh, my recollection, and this goes back to when I was on the committee, is that there was a charging document that was done by Jim. Um, and the recommendation, broadly speaking, was that there really is no reason for this, whether it's annual or whatever, review of these different <clears throat> handbooks and manuals uh, should be done. And they, I, my recollection is the recommendation was just to repeal um, this particular resolution. At that point, uh, I guess I'm sure Doug was on the board at that time, and he indicated some reservation relating to the financial, the two financial manuals, the procedures and the policy. 
And at that point, it just stopped until Doug came and spoke to the committee last month. Right. So I'm, I'm assuming that someplace, I mean, I don't, I just looked through my papers. I don't have it. I'll go back and try and track it down. But Laura, you might have it. I don't know. Um, if you pull the original committee document charging the board to act, uh, the, the question then is, how do you want to address the two uh, financial manuals? And, and that's, I think, where we are. Um, that, that's my recollection. So if Jim sent a charging document to the board and Doug basically had a response to that, doesn't he send that charging document back to us with a response? I don't... My, let me okay. put it, and maybe Jim is the one someone should talk to about this because um, can I, you see my can you see my screen at all then do you I found a charging document it's in a word document though so I don't know if you can see it or not uh, um, look at, you're still sharing the, uh, the, the the PDF yeah okay it, all um, right so I did find a charging document um, I don't know how to switch this to make it show um, my word documents, um, but it looks like it was um, request for performance uh, by the board um, to us, our committee uh, back in May. Um, Jim submitted this. Um, it says review resolution M08. Um, the background is M08 has been passed due for review since October 2020. M08 is one of the last resolutions to be adopted as part of the Book of Resolutions update process that started in 2008. A resolution regarding this topic did not previously exist. The resolution was a recognition that there are documented operating procedures for association businesses, some of which are referred to in the governing documents. It was considered appropriate to establish a requirement for maintaining these procedures up to date. The discussion is it is recommended that M08 be rescinded. The resolution recognizes staff responsibility for maintaining manuals, but there is no independent method of determining actual compliance without what amounts to an audit. Other than the board, there is no entity or personnel within the association that has authority to determine compliance. Maintaining such documents up to date can be considered part of performance evaluation of the general manager and staff. That is what Jim had put on the uh, that um, charging document. Right, and my and again, I'm doing this from memory, so I could be wrong, and that's why I think Jim may be the best source on this. <clears throat> Well, that is what the charging document says. I don't think it ever got to the board because at some point he must have spoke. I guess he spoke to Doug. I'm not quite sure. And Doug raised his concerns. So I don't think the board ever got. The okay, so it didn't it didn't go past it didn't, didn't go, go past. past. OK. Yeah. So are we saying then that we should amend the original charging document a little bit and then resubmit it to the board? But, you know, like by by creating and updating a new charging document um, to uh, specify the thoughts about um, keeping only the financial uh manuals on there and possibly the architectural one but i i don't think we need it we document it we've got we've got a document it I, we are getting way behind here on all these charging documents right well, i mean that's, our, yeah. our tracker is filling up with red because documents have been created that have either disappeared sitting somewhere um we have a charging document on this. Um, Doug gave us verbal feedback on that document. And mm -hmm. my 
my um, notes on the tracker from last time is that we discussed it and we agreed to redline something and send back to the board. So it seems like we could send it back based on that charging document. And as I'm sitting here thinking about it, it seems like my memory was is that we one of the recommendations was that these budget manuals that he's concerned about be included in the budget and finance committee's uh, resolution. Uh, and then they would be responsible for maintaining them and, and updating them. And then all the rest of the, the rest of it would be deleted, that that was one of the options. But I say we keep the original charging document, okay. which was submitted back in uh, May. Uh, looks like uh, May of 22. And um, we just added some comments together about our recommendation and sent them back to the board. Okay. Okay, I can work on that. And write myself notes here. All right, so what I can do is can we can we if I update this offline and send it out to the rest of our board members, um, can are we able to agree by email that it's OK and then it can be forwarded on to the uh, uh, Steve as our board liaison to go forward? We've done that in the past. OK. Because I don't want to take up like all of our time sitting here, you know, uh, trying to do it here. Um, OK. Email committee. OK. All right. So if you feel OK with that, then I'll update the um, the uh, charging, the original charging document and just add a couple of lines there um, to it, okay? The next one was uh, M05, which is the animal control. Um, and I believe, is that the one? M05, we're sending it forward. Uh, I um, uh, gave uh, Steve a clean copy uh, for this. Um, so we're sending this one forward for a first reading. So does anybody have anything to add or do we need to do anything with that one? Other than, you know, uh, he's moving it forward for, for first reading. I don't think so. I think Steve mentioned that it was going to the board this week. Right. OK, so how, depending on how it goes <laughs> next uh, next weekend on the board meeting, um, it'll at least have its first reading. All right. So under the agenda um, that we have completed the old business section, now we're moving on to the new business. Um, there, um, I'm going to, let's just skip ahead to uh, B03 first for a minute, because I think it'll have the shorter um, discussion, and then we can come back to the records retention, and then um, the um, board ethics one will be our last topic. And we are not going to get it all done today. Um, uh, but we're going to do our best. So let me find E03. This is another uh, old one. Um, I think what we wanted to do, Steve and I had said, because this one potentially could, we were holding because it was about the meetings and everything. Um, You see that portion of it. Um, I gotta look at. Yeah. 
I freely admit that I do not have the memory that Jim uh, does on all of these. So sometimes me referring, you know, trying to remember what our discussions were and when what meeting we discussed it at uh, is a, not as crisp as Jim's was um, for us. So and I hate to keep picking on Keith, but Keith's my good memory guy. Um, is there anything on this charging document that we need to add or anything, or can it be moved forward uh, to the board? Because um, I think it's going to the, yeah, going to the board, um, and it's the review of resolution B03. And here's the topic parts. So according to our notes, my notes, mm -hmm. um, September of last year, we submitted red, a red line copy of this resolution for a first reading, September 16th to 22. Okay, so. And then the next update is the new board liaison, which I think was Colette at the time. Uh, and then we didn't hear anything back. So Colette was going to resubmit it to the board um, for approval or comments. And to my knowledge, we've never gotten any feedback on that. Do we have any feedback from those red lines submitted back in September? Uh, Keith, what was the the, the date you had for the, the September the red lines? September sixteenth, twenty two. Well, that would have been after the election. And and Jim was still uh, chairperson because uh, that we didn't switch positions until October. Yeah, I, I mean, I have a May twenty seven, twenty two. Uh, charging document. Correct. Uh, Correct. That's that's oh, when the original charging document have, was submitted. Yeah, I don't have a red line now. Can I'm somewhat at a. I had. Uh, I had Colette's uh, long memo. Let me see if I can pull that real quick. I, I the, my recollection is this that this resolution and your and the red line was never discussed by the board since I've been on the board. And I don't see I don't I'm looking at Jim's files. I don't think I have a red line of it. I'd have to go back and see if I've got it somewhere in my own files. Um, I have to look. I'm still trying to figure out there are so many documents and we and each meeting we do so many different ones. I have not come up with my best organizational method yet to figure out how to how I should organize all of this stuff so I can find it quicker. Um, and I seem to recall this resolution and us redlining it and drafting something up. It sounds very familiar. All right, so, so would we have, do you, Keith, do you think we would have done it at that September meeting or prior to that? Would you, uh, I'm, I'm trying to look at my old, um, well, what it, the the notes? On, I'm just going by the tracker, and the notes, yeah. the notes in here are back in May. A charging document was submitted. The next note is August 19th, on hold pending feedback from board liaison. So that would have been Colette, right? August. Right. Then the next note is September 16th. Um says new board liaison to resubmit redline copy at a board meeting for first reading. July. August. Oh, so it sounds like um, 
either that August meeting is when we did the red lines or a meeting in between May and August. There's no note in here between May and August. Because we probably didn't meet over the summer. We probably took, you know, July off for sure, I'm thinking. Um, August, so September. I don't have. March. Even August. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to go back through my files and see what I've got. Um, Cause I do not either that or. The other option is I can try and email Jim and see if he has a copy of it um, somewhere. All right, no, wait a minute. I've got a July meeting, B01. That's not this one. I don't want to I don't want to stall us too long here, but I'll, I'll just have to see if I can find it in my files. I will forward that to all of us um, after the meeting and we'll go from there. OK, I guess just just my general concern. Is us taking up new business things to work on when we have such a backlog of things right. that uh, that. Are are that are stalled for some reason because at some point this backlog this log jam is going to break right and then we're going to be flooded with things to do so um i thought our at our last meeting we went through these and we were pretty solid on where we stood but now it seems like maybe we're not all right uh, uh i'm sorry go ahead keith i didn't mean to interrupt no, I'm, I'm just venting here a little bit. I'm just, I'm concerned about taking on new work when we have so much unfinished work. Right. Okay. I, well, I found, that, mm -hmm. can, can I, I, I found Colette's uh, notes that she sent on to Doug. Um, and it says, resolution B03, the language of Section 5B of Resolution B03 will need to be updated to include language relating to meeting sign-in for virtual participants in future annual meetings. Uh, as new liaison and bylaws and resolutions, Steve should probably take the lead in ushering this to completion. Okay, so I, I don't have, I mean, I would do that um, without any particular problem. Um, I will point out two things, one of which is not necessarily the committee's concern. But first, I don't, again, I do not have the appropriate document, I don't think. Hold on, let me just see. I definitely don't have a red line, let me put it that way. Um, just a second. Yeah, I don't have the red line, so I I would need that, and I can move that to the board for for first reading because apparently it never got one, uh, as near as I can tell. Uh, I for what it's worth, uh, among the board members, there is some discussion as to how to deal with uh, participants. Uh, who are online as opposed to being in person. And I don't know that that's ever been resolved, but that's not the committee's concern. That'll be the board's concern. Uh, so if you give me the red line, I will pursue this. 
All right. I will look for I will look and see if somewhere in any of my stuff I've I've got a copy of the red line. It was not in the files that Jim gave me. Um, so I'm just going to have to go back through all of my files that I have uh, from all the different meetings. Um, and uh, or I can check my emails and see if Jim sent out one electronically, something like that that I can find. Um, and I agree with Keith, um, with you, Keith, that part of why I'm not feeling quite as confident <laughs> is because trying to keep track of all of this. And I feel like some of these, like you, like we're like we're realizing some of these things did not get done by the previous board liaison, um, or we never heard back anything official, so we never. And then we got started on other things and, and the whole, all the stuff we did last year was very time consuming. I feel like there's so many different documents to keep track of that it's a tad overwhelming for me personally um, to make sure that I'm not forgetting something. Um, and I'm, I would like to look forward to us being able to say that each meeting, we only have one or two things that we really have to you know, have big discussions on. Um, but I don't, I guess we're not at that point yet um, because we're just trying to get through this trans this transition period. I feel like we're, you know, and granted, you know, I had to take November off, but um, uh, we need to figure out, we do need to figure out a better path forward on how to keep of this, this stuff up to date. A lot of this backlog happened because of the um, the referendum and the changes to the uh, right. uh, to the bylaws, and so some of these things had to be set aside until after we knew what the outcome of that was going to be, because some of these things were affected by that. Uh, then you couple that with a board of directors election, where people change out, jobs change out, liaisons change out, and so I I, I don't think it was due to any anybody in particular. Um, not moving these things forward. I just think just they've just piled up. And I, all I'm saying is I think we kind of need to call time. My recommendation, we call time out. Mm -hmm. We try to get to the bottom of all these reds that we have. Mm -hmm. Make sure we know what our, which one of these are on us, which one of these are on the board, where we mm -hmm. stand with them before we sign ourselves up to new business. And I understand if the board comes to us with some new business, it's critical, it's timely, we've got to work on now. Roger that. We do that. Uh, but if it's not something that's critical and that can wait a little bit, I think we need to get caught up first. All right. So <clears throat> as far as our agenda, would it be better for us? We have, uh, as long as I've been part of this committee, it always seems like we have the governance document review at the end of our day, you know, uh, at the end of our meeting after we've done, quote, unfinished business and new business. Would it be better for us to move it um, to its own category, you know, a, but before we get started in uh, unfinished business and new business or make it part of unfinished business first so that if that's what we're going to make sure that we're up to date and caught up which ones of those um, items n need to be updated quicker than another one um, I feel like by the time we get to the end of our meeting to kind of go over that one we're kind of rushing through it because we've spent you know time which we need to do on other topics um but if like you said i do agree if we could get ourselves figured out really what are the prioritize i guess which ones need to have some resolution on them or follow up like that's now immediate and then take on the new topics um would that help us would i i don't you know well, I want us to have a good flow with this. I don't want us to get jammed up, you know, midway. Well, this, since I've been on the board, this is the first time that we've had this, this backlog. Um, 
because there were so many changes that we discussed and worked on last year. I mean, it was a very busy year. We, we did a lot of stuff. Um, so under normal circumstances, I would say, no, you want this at the end because this is just okay. a wrap up document to say, here's what we did today. Okay. Um, right. It's right now. It's just maybe not that case because because of the backlog, there's actually outstanding action items um, that are that are old business. Every one of these reds is an old business. Yeah. Um, and so that, that's the reason I brought it up earlier under old business that, um, you know, to try to get some, some update on these. But we well, could have just as easily yeah. done that as well at the end when we went through the, the document itself. So I don't think we need to change our How agenda. We, where we put it? Okay. All right. Yeah. That's fine. It's just that I guess what I'm suggesting is maybe for the time being, reviewing these and making sure we understand them is the business that we work on. Okay. Um, so ha thinking that way, do we start with like something like this? That's the old, you know, dated, you know, 2019 um, and work that way, you know, start with the furthest out one or do we um, take one of the newer ones that's, you know, May 22 or, you know what I mean? Like, no, so, I would say they're all the ones that are overdue, they're overdue, whether it's a month or a year, they're overdue. So and they've they've got to be something's got to be done about them. So okay. Uh I would just say we just start at the top and just go work down our way down. Okay. Yeah. And if we're gonna do that, then I would rather share my screen. Okay. Uh, yep. So that and, you can update it. Yeah. Yep. Then that's perfect. All right, hold on. Let me go back to I gotta find Keith allow okay wait, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna stop presenting so that you can present okay see if that works okay yep i can see yours now all right so uh this first one here book of resolutions um back in september we submitted a red line for the board to re review and we never got any feedback on that so basically what we were going to do was ask uh steve to find out what he could about it so uh let's see b01 steve you did talk about that and you said it's now on right he's got it for the agenda uh it, for a first it, it, reading on, i haven't seen the agenda yet it should or, be on, well it should be yeah it should be on the agenda for the January 1st, uh, first uh, reading. Sorry, January meeting uh, uh, for first reading. Okay. So this becomes our new status. Liaison submitted for January 1st board meeting for first reading. All right. Uh, B02, uh, charging document back in uh, June, uh, September, asking, we didn't get any feedback, um, asking for basically a readdressal of this to find out whatever happened to it. So anything on B02? Uh, I don't have anything. So it looks like what we submitted, what our response to the charging document was, we didn't think any changes were necessary. Right. And so I guess what we need to hear back is, uh, Roger, that it's fine. And then right. we just, we update the date, um, the review date. Okay. Um, bear with me one second. Yeah, so it looks like June 22, June of 2022, 
um, the charging document was submitted with this, um, the suggestion that no changes are required. Um, but then, as Keith said, we never got the official uh, word back saying that they that the directors agree to, so that okay. we can take that off and then just put it at, at the normal. What um, Keith, refresh my memory. Once something has been updated, is it a two year? Do we? What did we do? Was it a um, so like if we change this and give it a new date at some point? Yeah, it's well, two years. Is it a two year? Yeah, okay. it's two years. So yeah, as you can was... see, this so these these particular resolutions, these are resolutions that the board are responsible for. Right. And so, uh, but what what Jim would do and what this committee would do is we would look at it first, and then give the board our our recommendations. Uh, and so our rec and, and and as you can see here, uh, this was submitted in 22. It was already overdue because um, right. it was due back in uh, 18. So, but our apparently our recommendation, and I honestly don't remember it, was that it was fine the way it was, and we just need a thumbs up from the board to to say that they concur, and then we'll change this review date and add two years to it from the date of that agreement and move on. Right, and I do not have the charging document for B02. So, All right, if so you, I, I have look for that, and I can bring it to the board uh, for first reading. Uh, but I need the charging document. Okay, let me see. And since there's no red lines for this, there's really nothing to read. It's just the original B02. Okay, I do have a charging document in Jim's files that I can send you, Steve. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Again, I won't get this on the January agenda. It'll have to wait till either February or March, but I'll get it. I'll, yeah. Once I have it, I'll move it. And I'll send that as soon as we're done our meeting so I don't forget. Perfect. Okay, so this next one, B03, we talked about already, and I updated it to basically say we need to find those red lines. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll 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 have to look for them after the meeting to see, go through my files and see what I can find. I did not find they weren't in the flash drive stuff that um, Jim gave me, um, so I'll have to look elsewhere, but see if okay. I can find them. Uh, this next one, B05, conflicts of interest. Uh, charging document submitted last June, uh, suggesting changes to be reviewed as noted in the charging document, and it looks like we never received any feedback about whether or not to to, to uh, take that for action or not. Let me see what I can. Um. Oh, looks like I do have a charging document for that one in Jim's file. Okay. So pass that on to me. Okay. Charging document for B05. Okay. Okay, very good. So B06, uh, pretty much the same story. Charging documents submitted back in June, suggesting changes to be reviewed, and it doesn't appear that we ever got um, guidance one way or the other on it. All right, so looks like I also have a charging document for that in Jim's files. So yeah, we'll send that to Steve also.
All right, B07 petitions. I remember this. Yeah, that that's on the agenda. agenda. That's on the agenda. Okay. All right. So let me just update this. Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, that's one we did. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What did we say up here? Uh, for first. All right, uh, B08, uh, the one about ethics and conduct. This was kind of a strange one because it came and went. It came, they decided not to do it, and now they've decided to do it again. Right, uh, because that's under our new new business one. Okay, so we have that for new business. All right. Yes. That's, so that's new something business. for us to work yeah. on. Yeah, I, right. think, I actually think B08 at one point was repealed. Yeah. And that, and then uh, it because of the uh, that sounds right yeah penalty section or whatever you want to call it, and then it was decided that we uh, and you now have it as a new business document to consider and forward on. All right. Uh, let's see, Committee General, C01. So we submitted a red line document. Um, oh, no. So this is, uh, yeah. That's that board. charging document that we have, yeah. Uh, awaiting board change for red line document from executive. Oh, the work group, that's right. So the executive council work group was redlining that document. I think, Steve, you talked about this last time. And we were waiting for the outcome from that effort. Right. And that's the one that I believe we have not heard back a final update on it. But they were, quote, still working on it, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Yes. C01 is the one that the, the executive committee or executive council, whatever they call it, is looking to try to automate um they are ostensibly working on it we have not gotten any update and i or you're, you're going to reach out to whoever's doing it on the executive council to get them to at least know that we have that the committee has other matters to raise when that comes up for consideration that's um the uh dealing with uh, paragraph 4E, F, 4E, 4F, and 4G. Okay. All right, so I'll figure out, I'll have to go back and figure out um, who the contact person is for that work group because I don't remember off the top of my head who the gentleman was. Yeah, I don't remember either, to be honest with you. If, if you're stuck, let me know. I'll try to go back to Doug and ask him. Okay, yeah, Doug would probably know then, because he was sitting near Doug. I can, yeah. he, they were all in person. You and I did the virtual option for that right. meeting. Right, yeah. All right, C9, Executive Council Committee. Yeah, that's on the uh, that's on, our, on the agenda too. Or uh, first reading, I think. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, no, that's a charging. No. That's that's on the agenda as a charging document before the board. Yes. But there's no action recommended by the committee. That's it. It's the Executive Council. That's what that is. So, so what's our role here then? It's on, it's on the agenda. The charging document should be on the agenda for the January board meeting. But th th according to the notes, this um, resolution is also being worked by that work group. 
That it's I don't the, know. The executive council work group. I. So we I did it. We did do a charging document. Yeah, there. Uh, I've already submitted it for the January board meeting. Hold on. Let me pull. Let me see what's in. What is this? Uh, C09? Yeah. C09, we, yeah. Okay, we did hold. do a charging document for that one. Yeah. Um, that charging document, though, was from our committee or was from Steve? Who was it from? It's it's from the committee. Uh, let's see. I know I'm not sharing my screen, but yeah. it's request for performance by the board from us. Yeah, and I right? and yeah. submitted the charging document that I had. Right. For the January board meeting, so that it should be on the agenda for the January board meeting. It's going to be a busy meeting. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to like us. <laughs> oh, it's not just us, believe me. Okay, C14, Racket Sports. Um, this, Laura, is where you were just going to give a courtesy call to okay. their committee chair to, to just say, hey, just FYI, you're your document is was due for review back in 20. Um, is there anything we can do to help you with it? You know, just a polite um, kind of what's up. OK, yeah, and I admit I did not get that done, so I will do that. Now this weekend. And we're just letting we're just asking them to review their own um, uh, item and then they can uh, let us know if they recommend any changes or if they're going to leave it the same or do or if they want to change anything just help me with the pop the procedure here do they create their own charging document to go to the board then with it or yeah so um if they thought changes were necessary, then they they would have done a charging document and red lines and sent to the board. And a lot of times, um, other committees prior to submitting to the board, they'll send them over to us to look at first. Okay. Just kind of globally, uh, within context of all the other requirements, they don't have to. Uh, right. But I think that's kind of been a standard practice in the past. They may have looked at the document and said, it's fine as it is. We don't need to make any changes. Um, Just nobody's told us that. Right. Okay. All right. Because if okay. that's the case, then, then we we'll could update change. the date. Yeah. Okay. On. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Okay. Because we're charged with tracking all of these. Right. Okay, so if they come back, I uh, approach them. Uh, they say, oh, yes, we did do this. We did look at it. They were, we're not changing anything. Then I can come back to you and say, update it, and we'll put, put it forward for two years um, uh, in the future for another update, right? Right, and because this was due uh, 2020, uh, just ask them the date of what meeting it was where they made the okay. decision that the that the document was fine as is. Okay. And I would have to imagine that did we have pickleball back in 2020? We did not, right? I don't know. I would have to imagine there'd be some changes since then, but anyway. <coughs> All right, I'll I'll get that I'll get that down. Okay, next one uh, investment guidelines F01. Uh, we submitted a charging document back in June, and that's for the paper trail died. Suggesting changes to be reviewed, as noted in the charging document. So it sounds like we didn't get any feedback one way or the other. Okay, I do have a charging document. Uh, for that in Jim's files. So do you want me to forward that to Steve as well then to make sure it did go forward? Yep. OK. 
Okay. Same thing on F03. Uh, so we did a draft. That's we did the draft. one. Yeah, that's that's the one that we have a draft for, I think. Okay, and he mentioned that. Did he say that was on the agenda? Uh, At F, F which? F03, yes. Yeah. Is that's on, that's on the agenda for first reading. first reading. Gotcha. Okay. All right, F04 delinquent assessments. Uh, looks like we sent a charging document back in June. We did a lot of them back in June, my goodness. <laughs> Suggesting changes as noted and no feedback since. All right, I, okay. do, I do have a charging document in Jim's files. What is it? I'm sorry, uh, committee. It that uh, E04 submitted a charging document to board liaison, so there's some changes. Yeah, we submitted a charging document back in June suggesting changes to this document. Jesus. Okay, I have. I, look, Keith, can I ask you a question about this? Yeah. Here, here's. I understand this committee's responsibility. <clears throat> as it applies to sort of my term, writing heard on the other committees to get their reports in and all that. That's what, that, that's, I get that. What do you do when the document, whatever the document is, has been given to the board? I mean, as near as I can tell, if there's, if there is a charging document submitted to the board, which is what, um, F's, uh, uh, F's, I thought F01 said. Right. Um, yeah, these are all board documents, yeah. Right, and the board doesn't take any action. I mean. So, uh, um, well, I'm not, I'm my, not sure my, role after that. <laughs> my, <laughs> my understanding, um, and I, I hope this is accurate, is that, that, the liaison is then rides herd on the board. Okay. It says we owe the committee an answer one way or the other. Is it fine? Is it not fine? Do you want them to work on it? Do you not want them to work on it? Um, because we've never had this backlog before, so this is kind of a unique situation. But normally, yeah. um, the liaison would just keep poking the board and say, I've got this. We need to look at it. We need to talk about it. And it's just, Unfortunate that these just piled up because of all the work that was done last year. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to think the best way for me to deal with this. Um, I, okay, I may come back to you and ask you to, is, is it possible for you to send me this the governance document, but not as an Excel spreadsheet because I can't open up Excel. I, I, Excel is not on my laptop. Yeah, well, what I do is I convert it to a PDF when I get done editing it, so I yeah. can send it. I can send it to you as a PDF. You want that, or do you want it to be editable? Uh, right now, I'll t I'll take it as uh, a PDF, and I'll just make notes in it. Uh, and and I'll let you know where we are because some of this is just going to take time. I mean, so what I don't, else? I don't see the board doing much of, on some of these things, regardless of what the <laughs> the dates are. But I I need to know where I'm supposed to be kicking the board in the butt, or right. or I'm waiting uh, for something from the committee, or I'm putting it before the board for the first time. So, so what I, I can. What I can do for you, Steve, is I can create, can you, uh, can you open Word documents? Sure. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll pull out of here the things that we're documenting that require some sort of board action, and I'll, I'll put them in a Word document, kind of as a to-do list with the relevant information, 
And then I'll send that to you. And then you can start using that as your tickler list for things that you need to. Um, That's fine. Follow up on. Yeah. And then you can edit it and, you know, change it and do with it whatever you want to do with that data. That, that, that'll, that'll work because I've, I've started to keep a list um, among the B resolutions. I, there's at least three where I need the charging document. I'm not sure what we did with B06, which is indemnification. And then uh, on the uh, F ones, F01 and F04, I just I, I'm just out. I don't know. I don't have anything, and there's nothing in uh, Colette's notes to say where we are with this. So yeah, that would be. I think what you're suggesting will work just fine. Yeah, I'll do that. And then as you go down through it, and it says you know you're going to resubmit the charging document, and you don't have it, then you would go to Laura and say, hey, right. I need a copy of this and charging. See document. what I have, right? And, and yeah, because okay. some of those we've already figured out that I have some um, on Jim's file that he gave me, you know, his flash drive that he gave me. So then I'll take those. I can update the signature part for you if you want, and then send them to you. That, that's I, would be, I would, Steve, if you could find out, uh, I would be really curious to know, though, from for educational purposes, how this works on the board side. In okay. other words, you're not the only liaison who's submitting right. stuff to the board for review, right? So does the board secretary capture all of these in some sort of document that all the board members- And prioritize, have, yeah. Have access to, done. look at. There, there's gotta be a way that these things are captured by and, and collected and captured for the board by the, the board secretary or somebody so that every time they get together to build an agenda, somebody pulls that up and go, oh, we still have all these we got to do. Um, I, I, I'm uh, hesitant to speak ill of any of my colleagues on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I sense is every month is a new month. That's my that's best answer I can give you. I will do some checking, though, to get to let you know. Yeah, I just think maybe that's part of the problem is it's just very disorganized. And if you leave it, if if these just get emailed, let's say, to each individual board member, and then the assumption is somebody's going to remember and, uh, you know, that just doesn't seem like a, a well-organized way to approach it. Well, and I think that's also opened us up for where um remember i can't remember exactly which specific one was it did get a first reading but never got put back on for a second reading so it stayed in limbo you know so who's watching that you know once it makes it to a board a director's meeting and and on their agenda and it says you know you've done your first reading who goes back to say when you're creating the next one, oh, wait, we need to carry this over, um, you know, for its second and final reading then, you know, when it's ready or whatever. Um, because there's there's no way for us to know that it didn't get put on the agenda until after a meeting has occurred. And then we might go at our next committee meeting, oh, wait, this was this one should have been up and we haven't gotten that final answer yet. You know, so I, I think that Laura, I think the question you're asking uh, is after the first reading is done, who bears the responsibility to bring Jeez. the resolution back before the board? Because the board, when you get to the second reading, that's right. where um, the, the board says the amending process, whatever right. you're going to do, is going to get done one way or the other. Right. But uh, if there were, let's say if there were no changes, who who then makes sure it ends up on the next uh, agenda for that second and final reading? You right. know, but there's and a, then. But, but hold on. There's a difference between the committee recommending no changes mm -hmm. and the board agreeing that there are no changes. In other words, the committee makes a recommendation. The board has to act. And right. so it doesn't really make a difference at that point that the the. the difference in the difference between the first reading and the second reading it really doesn't make much difference what the board's rec what the committee's recommendation is the question is how do we then make sure the wheel keeps turning so that the board completes right. what they should complete and i get that and i just don't know the answer to that 
Mm -hmm. I guess we don't either. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm um, going to have to do a little searching on that one. Yeah. Right. So is it, is it yeah, I mean, I, the the secretary I, of the directors that that makes the agenda, or are you, who are you submitting the stuff to? Is it Lin? You know, is Linda making the agenda for everybody? What I think maybe there's the um, how do how do we follow up with that? So sorry, Augie, go ahead. I'm very new to this, obviously, but I mean, is there an <laughs> argument that once we have submitted something? to the board our work is done i mean if the board and we can update the review date we've reviewed it we've sent our recommendation to the board and then it's really up to them i think that's reasonable and i think basically what's happened is in the past um jim uh who would attend every single board meeting would sort of informally track these things I think that's what happened. And I think people just became reliant upon that. Uh, that, you know, if, there, if the second reading got put off for some reason or whatever, Jim would say something. Um, but that's not an official way to track it, right? I mean, the board's got uh, meeting notes. You know, they, they take, uh, uh, they know what actions they took during the meeting. And it just seems like somebody um, on the board, the secretary, the, the president, somebody has to track when it's in their house for action to take. Yeah, I, uh, I, I will, I will investigate and try to, I, I think, I, let me backtrack. I think Augie's suggestion is a good one. Um, at some point, the governance document is going to have to say, uh, the matter is pending before the board and there it sits. I mean, for lack of a better expression, you know, that's what's going to happen. Uh, as to who does what, which is what Laura's question was, um, I, I, for the bylaws committee, I submit everything upon when we get the notice that our documents are due, I submit whatever I have to Linda Martin. Now, when I, that's why when I say to you, this has been submitted for the January board meeting, I don't know that it necessarily make the agenda because my mm -hmm. guess is that Linda basically compiles everything and meets with Doug, I guess with Doug and says, here's what we got. And he may then have to sort of, you know, weed out what he thinks uh, can or cannot get done in a short period of time. So I said to you for the January board meeting, we're, we're gonna have a pretty full agenda mm -hmm. uh, based upon what I'm already hearing among the board members. Um, so, uh, but I will I will attempt to get a better read on exactly the process that's followed and who tracks what and that sort of thing. And and if you know if it's up to me to make sure the board continues to pr proceed a, a pace, I'll do it. Uh, I'm just I, I, I think going back to what I, I think Augie's suggestion is from the board from the committee's point of view, Augie's suggestion is the one that works. Yeah, I agree. And I would also say the board can hold extra meetings. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've had to do that in the past. We've yeah. had to hold extra meetings in order to deal with workload uh, and, and meet more than once a month. I mean, there for a while we were meeting every other week. Right. Uh, you know, we before did that for a couple of months. Yeah, Yeah, we did. So, you know, if this backlog gets to the point where it just it's an unreasonable amount of work during a normal board meeting, then maybe the board needs to schedule a special one just to go through these and work them off. Yes, no, I'm, you, you won't get any disagreement from me. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's see. Um, so M01 compliance procedures. Yeah, I... Um, Let's see. Um, I believe um, this is primarily an and an, uh, M01 is primarily an ARC amendment, uh, an ARC resolution, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, and there is supposed to be something submitted for the January board meeting uh, relating to M01. 
Okay, I do have in Jim's files a charging document for yeah. M01. Yeah, yeah, I have that too, I think. Let me just okay. pull it up. Yeah, as I recall, we had to put this, we had to put our responsibility on hold for this because the attorneys got involved. Mm -hmm. Well, that, and I think there was also um, a pending bill in the legislature. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, and I and I believe that's what's going to be coming up, uh, or is it at least on the agenda for first reading? Um, for M01, I will also tell you, uh, just to keep Keith really busy, there is also <laughs> going to be a resolution for first reading on M02. Now, whether or not they make it to the January board meeting, I don't know, but they've been submitted. I won't know till I see the agenda. What's the turnaround time on when you as a director see the final agenda prior uh, to the director's meeting? I probably will see it sometime between Tuesday and Thursday of next week. I don't know the exact day. But the, the meeting is is a week from tomorrow. Right, it's on a uh, Saturday, so. Yeah. So, so uh, we Day should, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is next week, I think Wednesday and perhaps Thursday is the board has the budget, um, ha, ha, we have our budget meetings. Right. Uh, so um, I don't know whether that, again, I don't know whether or not that'll affect it one way or the other. What I can tell you in, in as to these two uh, resolutions is that um, there have been uh, submissions made to include in the January board for the January board meeting. Okay, because I do have a charging document in Jim's files for M02 as well. Yeah, so do I, but um, okay. th these will be, uh, and, I, and I, let me go back one step. I think it's highly likely, at least as to M02, that this is going to get kicked back to your to this committee. Okay, that's fine. I yeah. can't for M01, but I think I'm pretty. I, I, I I'm willing to bet M02 will get kicked back. Okay. Okay. Uh, M05. I think you already talked about that. That's scheduled. Are you? That was submitted right to the board for first reading this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll go back and kind of standardize this language after. Uh, M06 elections and referendums. Yeah, I don't know really. Um, this got, uh, hold on, let me see what you have here. Just one time. Chair advised amendment resolutions. Posted. Um, Oh, that's right. So the board approved some changes. Probably dealing with um, uh, online voting. Honestly, I don't remember, but I, I remember Jim talking about this. It was discussed. Right. Board approved some changes, but those right. changes have never been put in the in writing. Right. And since that time, um, we had the recalibration of the last election. Uh, we had the elections committee resign en masse. Mm -hmm. We had a new elections committee named. Uh, they have met and filed the report dealing with the recalibration, and uh, nothing else has occurred. I, 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 <laughs> I, this is one of those ones, uh, Keith. I think when you send me that Word document, uh, you're going to have to tell me like. Uh, I need to check on the stat. I, I know where the committee is, but I don't know where the issue is as it relates to what uh, is in your notes. In other words, the issue of, uh, I, I believe the change was de dealt with online voting. And that's what the amendment was, which never got into the book of resolutions. And that, for all I know, has been superseded by events since then. So I... Um, I believe that's where we are. 
Um, but I'll or, uh, go ahead. Laura, do you have can you pull up that charging document? I do not have a charging document for that in Jim's files. I'll have to go through my other stuff to see if I can find. Oh, I, I know why, because one. this because this belongs to the um, M6. Um, the elections committee. Right, right. So let's see, <laughs> according to the notes, it says they, the elections committee, um, so basically distributed some changes that they thought were necessary. Um, detailed resolution status report um, for discussion amongst the uh, probably the executive steering committee, maybe, and uh, the board. And uh, and then it, that's where it ended. So it sounds like sounds like what needs to happen is maybe chairized. Maybe Laura, you just need to touch base with the chair of the elections committee and say, sh show them, you know, this these okay. notes and say, this was our understanding of what was going on. Can you kind of bring me up to speed here okay. on efforts to update your document? Um, you know, because I, I think the board is, or, or I think what Jim's point here is, the board approved amendments to the, that particular resolution. And I sort of remember, and I want to say it was in June, maybe in July, but probably in June. Um, the issue, the, the, the board went approved online voting. Yeah, I think you're but, right. But the think, amended resolution approving online voting has never gotten into the book of resolutions. I, right. I, I think that's where we are. And I so, it's since been superseded, by all the other events since then. But I, yeah. the, board, the board considered a resolution in the summer, June or July, dealing with elections. That much I do recall. Yeah, according to the notes here, uh, Jim submitted recommended changes uh, and uh, the decision was made back in June to defer those till after the elections. Um, those changes were approved at the June 27 board meeting. Um, then we had the election. So now the question is, are we still going to implement those changes? Do they need to be? So we, I guess we need to see what those changes were. Well, I, I think the issue is, is what the amended resolution, whether the amended resolution has ever gotten into the book of resolutions. I think that's where we are. Right. We need to see what the board approved. Right. There's is there anything in writing? I think is what Keith's saying. We haven't seen anything in writing of, of how it was worded to include that and in, to even put anything in a in the book of resolutions, you know, to make sure well, it's worded well, correctly. It's not the committee's responsibility to put things in the book of resolutions. The, I, I I think what Jim is highlighting is more likely a housekeeping function that is right. a completed action and now it, and but it never got into the book of resolutions right so the question is to check on that right i agree with that and so let's see so am i saying steve that um so who's following who's going to follow up on this I, i'll do i'll do that I'll do it. Okay, so you don't need me to contact the elections committee chairperson and ask for the update. Do you want I, to do that? No, I believe the now whether or not there's going to be additional changes to that resolution dealing with elections. I'm willing to bet you can bet your bottom dollar on that. But as to what is in the notes right now, mm -hmm. I, which is the amended resolution in the book of resolutions, I'll I'll check on that. And there's nothing else pending before this committee right now other than that. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Bulk <laughs> bulkheads and waterway maintenance. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What is what's the deal? 
Oh, there was an issue. I remember this. I don't know anything about this one. This, this yeah, thing. it's got to do with addressing the issue of of who pays for what. Um, oh, Bob had uh, Bob was the one who knew a lot about this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Because he come, had the actual issue with it. So he yeah, when they come experience. through to rebuild your bulkhead, uh, depending on what if you put a pier out there if you put a boat lift if, if you know depending on what's going on on your property out there there's going to be some cost sharing going on because some of it's your responsibility some of it's the association's responsibility and i think what the issue was that bob was bringing up is that it's not addressed in here so it's because it's not addressed it's just a constant fight so let's see it sounds like the board discussed it and agreed that something needed to be done. So back in September, um, charging documents required to address owners. So it, it sounds to me like we wanted to know if, come. so it sounds to me like Review and advise of current judge. We don't have a charging documents, it looks like. So there's no yeah, charging I documents. Yeah. No. I don't have one. Yeah. So no, you, would, you would not have a charging document. Well, if it's a board resolution, which this one is, and if we are the ones saying we think there's changes to be made, then we would submit a charging document to the board saying we think there's changes to be made. Do you agree? And if so, we would draft them up. Well, I'm just I'm reading the note to file. Uh, this note um, should be retained on this control document until the resolution is resolved. Currently, the owner's responsibility for related costs is covered by a copy of M07 that has been filed HOA depository in Snow Hill. So I don't know. I don't know that the board has ever take an action to address that. I mean, as far as I know, and let me check, let me see if there's something in uh, Colette's notes again. I don't think there is, but just a second. Okay, what are we looking at? M07. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have anything relating to M07 at all. I don't have anything in Jim's files. So apparently the, the board of directors discussed this March of last year. According to these notes, according to Jim, it was discussed March 23, 22. Potential amendment topics were identified and responsibility assigned for follow up. So I guess we need to know what those board meetings are, minutes were from that meeting and what their discussion was and who was assigned what responsibilities. Well, who does he mean? Yeah, I don't my read of that would be it wouldn't be this committee it would be no, different committees, right? It, it might be, but because we're responsible for tracking these these resolutions and it was due to be updated 2017 uh we're the ones who keep poking the poking the bear saying what's the deal what's the deal got okay. updated document so okay I'll, I'll try to find out what happened okay
All right, M08 association manuals. I think we've already discussed that. Um, uh, update charging document with RSO. We already talked about that one. M09 search committee. New board liaison to review recent changes in the bylaws at a board meeting that necessitates changes to this resolution in order to obtain consistency with the bylaws. I think this has to do with the changes that were made prior to the last election to the form, the candidate form, and maybe some other issues that had to do with candidates. When we amended the bylaws? Yeah. 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 So we amended the bylaws, but uh, this resolution, M09, uh, apparently it does not match uh, the changes that were made to the bylaws. Right. And I think the other problem is that technically there is no search committee right now. My recollection is the search committee is formed, and then af after the, there's a sufficient number of candidates, the search committee ceases to exist. <laughs> Um, and in fact, my, as I recall, a prior discussion, the search committee itself recommended that they cease to exist, and that was never agreed to by the board. Yeah. Uh, I do have a charging document for M09 in Jim's files. I can pull that back up. Well, why don't you send it to me? Okay. I'm not sure this one's ever going to get resolved. I, I just don't know. <laughs> well, for our purposes, for our purposes, we just need somebody who's either, according to the responsibility here, either the committee chair, the general manager, or the board, and or, I guess, to tell us as of umpty squat date, we reviewed this document and there's no further action at this time. And then we'll update this date here uh, and we'll move on with our life. Yeah, I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll, raise, I'll raise a somewhat different question with you. And that is, why is the, and I, I'm frank, let me go back one step. Keith, you did a fairly extensive revision of the candidate form. Because I remember you and I spent a lot of time talking about that, and I don't really know because I don't. I have, I have to go back and look how much of that revision was captured uh, in the change to the bylaws, which brings me to the question, it, which is, why is the search committee charged with the form question, which is what's in your notes, when it should be the elections committee? Search committee. Uh it was just looking for candidates if they don't have enough candidates. I think wasn't that form part of the resolution, not part of the bylaws. I don't know. I'd have to. I. I, I think so. You're right. You may be I right. think it was because that's how come we could change it for that election, because you don't need a referendum. You don't need the you know, the membership to vote on changes to the to the resolutions, only the bylaws. So I think that form is part of M09. All right. That doesn't resolve the other question. Is why does search committee have this when it should be the elections committee? The search, my recollection, search committee has a limited, first of all, they have a limited life. Second of all, they're appointed every year. And thirdly of all, they only exist in case we don't have enough candidates who filed for the election in the first place. Yeah, that was part of the whole debate about right. could the could the responsibilities of the search committee be done by the election committee? And as I recall, the feedback we got. Um, the elections committee didn't want to do that. Right. They felt it was a conflict of interest because their right. job was to conduct the election regardless of candidates. And that whatever candidates were going to be involved with somebody else's issue. Right. But the search committee turned around and said, well, we don't even think we should exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that was primarily because today with multimedia, um, right. uh, with all the technology that we have, it's, it, it, it just didn't seem like it was really necessary. And Jim's argument, as I recall, was 
we didn't have a search committee at all for the right, prior right. two elections. So clearly we were capable of doing it without a search committee. Um, so then why do we have one? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And on, on top of that, um, my, at, I think when, when, and this is going back to when I was on the committee, when we discussed M09, you know, search committee recommended they shouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. And when I pointed that out, I think it was Colette basically said, no, we're going to give them new responsibilities. But I don't know if they ever did that either. I don't think we did. Right. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't think anybody did, not just the committee. I don't think anybody did. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So, um, all right. I'll send you the charging document that I have in the files that Jim did yeah. uh, for M09, and then we can figure out where to go from there. Yeah. Okay. I'll, and I'll try to figure out what ha goes on with the form. I mean, I'm assuming if there was a form, if the form was changed, it would be up on the website for people who are interested in running. Wasn't the form part of the discussion from that executive council meeting? Because they were trying to, that's part of the automated part of it, is they want to put it up so that you can just automatically go to the website, pull it up, fill it out, and click submit and all that kind of stuff. So, but I think there was some concerns on some of the wording uh, that was on it uh, that the that the work group had done, not necessarily we we our committee had done, but I thought there was something, and I'd have to go back and look at my notes, but I, I, I thought there was something about that. Well, there some, some something just, there. You you may be right. I, I mean, I know there were some issues with some of the wording that the advice that the work group did I, I have a i'm not quite sure why the executive council would be working on this form though right um i mean they, they their interest now maybe they felt if we can automate one we can automate them both that's possible but i'm assuming that if the form was in any way changed it would be up on the website already um so i'm gonna i'll check that yeah, because I know they had a document because it looks like I have one from that meeting that's uh, advisory committee application process uh, review that was given out uh, from that meeting. Um, I'd have to open it to see what it says, but um, so so I do think there was something there that the work group supposedly was doing. Yeah, I don't know why they would, but OK, I, I'm not saying right. Why. Doesn't make sense. I, I guess what I would say uh, are, are these all these? Are we done with the table, Keith? With the yeah. government? Okay. Um, my, if I may, um, uh, when you send me that Word document, be as expansive as necessary. So you I'm know what I'm going to do? I think I can just convert this. I think I can just convert this Excel spreadsheet into a Word document, and that way you have it all. Okay, if that works, that, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. and then keep in mind, M09 isn't due until March. So this is not the one of the ones that's overdue. Uh, it was considered reviewed. Um, last year. Well, that's weird. If it was reviewed last yeah. year, it shouldn't be due until the 24th, so that's not right. Um, so that's weird. I don't know why that says that, because it's every two years. Oh, I know why, because this is oh. an annual function yeah 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 because it's an annual function so anyway i i think i'm going to be able to do that steve i think i'll convert this to a word document that way you just have the whole thing and what i would suggest is once you get it steve if something in here doesn't make sense or needs clarification just give me a call and we'll make sure that the wording is is uh clear okay so you can take this as a checklist and go back and um um start working it Yep. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay.
Here, I'll so, stop uh, sharing. Okay. So is that so that's everything with the governance document stuff, right? So it is now after three o'clock now. Um, do we want to um, finish our meeting, you know, now and and table the new business and move it to the uh, um, February meeting, which I um, I know out of the two based on my discussion with Steve is that um, I believe the president of the directors would prefer to have the records retention uh, one done as more of a priority than the ethics one if we had to go in order you know between those two but we're obviously we're not going to get either of these done today correct right yeah so do we feel that i guess the question is do we feel that we as a committee need to throw in an extra meeting between now and the february 10th date you know like meet in two weeks um and start the discussion on the records retention so that we can maybe finish it at, at the february one um or how do how do we feel about that um steve do you have a any um guidance on how quick you think we need to move forward on um either of these um well uh laura i think i mentioned to you i uh, I got an email from Doug raising that question um, mm -hmm. about particularly about records retention. Uh, I explained to him what our situation was from November through to the, today's meeting. Um, I think he still wants to get this done as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, the board, it's the committee's decision whether or not they want to meet again in a couple of weeks. Um, you're already short. Uh, one member, actually two members, because you don't have Bob either. Yeah, Bob should be back. Bob was just driving <laughs> today back home uh, from his vacation. So it would have been two. And because if we had met in per person, I was I was uh, going to try and call him in from my phone, just have our phone there. But, you know, doing it this way, he um, without him calling directly into this team's meeting, I don't think he would have been able to um, hear everybody, you know. Right. So, I, so I excused I guess, him from that. I never heard back from Pam, so I don't know why she didn't make today. Um, but, um, you know. Right. I I, I get that. Uh, all I'm saying is, it's it's your decision what you want to do uh, in mm -hmm. terms of a another meeting. I can only tell you, you know, I've been. That if we're that. able, yeah, if we're able to get it done quicker, sooner rather than later is what the <laughs> preference would be, is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, I mean, he... Uh, and Doug, I think we lost Augie. Did we lose well, Augie? Yes, <laughs> but we no longer have a quorum, so we're going to have to wrap this up. Right, so, all right, so, so Keith, I'm, what I'm, do you I'm want to do? It. I'm up for it. We just need to find out about Augie, but uh, if we got to throw in another meeting to address okay. this, I'm up for it. All right, so what I can do is I will send out an email after we're done this meeting. Um, uh, uh, so looking at my calendar, the, the, the two weeks from now, two Fridays would be the 27th. Keith, do you have an idea if that would work uh, for you? That's, or do you that's wanna... as good as any. That's as good as any. Okay, all right. And it may all right. Be you could do that over in the admin building by then i don't know what their schedule is yeah hopefully because then after that our regular scheduled meeting would be the 10th which is two weeks after that so all right um i'll i'll send out an email seeing if the others are also available on the 27th once we hear back from that we'll know if we're moving forward um you well, know if you're going to let me know as soon as possible, because I would then need to forward your notice of emergency meeting or uh, right meeting. to get a link. Yeah, a link and to reserve the peach room if we can still do it and all that sort right. of stuff. So right, okay, sooner, sooner, but we're off. 
right. Um, okay. All right. So, otherwise, I think that's it then. And since we lost quorum, um, we will have to end this uh, meeting um, with no objections, correct? <laughs> yeah. No or, objections for me. All right. So, or, I will note that we're and we ended at 311.